Hi and Happy New Year's. Thanks for joining me here at Crafty Creations with Gigi. Today I am making Sweet 16 t-shirts for 20 girls. Already started. I have three t-shirts already made. Um, but I'm going to walk you through um, how I'm weeding, how I'm putting the vinyl into the machine and cutting it. Um, this is for the date because the next shirt I'm doing it needs a date. Um, this is the pile of stuff that needs to be weeded. I'm not going to weed everything. I'm just going to weed her name. Um, Sweet 16, the date, the snowflake, um, dig on my heat presser. These are the bags of t-shirts I have. I have a order for 20, 20 t-shirts. I'm going to show you what her t-shirts look like. Here is the t-shirts for her guests. She have more than 20, but I guess it's going to be like her main people or whatever. This is her t-shirt that I did. Her t-shirt is different from the rest of this. A little different because it got the crown and it has more snowflakes. So that's what I'm up to right now, guys. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to read um, this next piece of date. So what I'm going to do, because I actually don't want all of this, because I have it. So what I'm going to do is go to the second mat. I'm going to press these three dots to hide this. I just want this. I'm going to position it right here, away from the red lines, if you can see. Um... So now, what I'm going to do, this is the only thing I need printed at this moment. I'm in Cricut Design Space. That's where I do all my magic when I'm working with vinyl. Anything to do with vinyl. So I'm going to press the continue button. It's going to find my Cricut then it's going to ask me to select the material I'm going to select glitter iron on already placed my mat in there so I'm just going to press the flashing button so it can draw in the mat hopefully that's enough final I'm praying that it is now I'm going to press the C button so I can prepare. Oh, pause. I had to pause because I almost made a big mistake. What I didn't do... And I can't do it from here. So I have to cancel it. So I'm canceling it because I forgot to mirror the image. Very important, guys. When you are dealing with vinyl and it's to go on a t-shirt, you must mirror the image. So I'm just going to press that button to get my mat out. So now... It's back to square one. I'm putting my mat back in. I'm going here because this is the mat I wanted printed. And I'm going to edit. And I still, oh yes I can. I'm going down here to mirror the image. See the mirror, the image is now mirrored if you can see. And I'm just going to move it down a tad, tap it. And now I'm going to go to continue. It already knows because although I canceled it, 
it already knows because I have this highlighted to print to cut that that mat just this mat so I'm gonna press the button again now I'm gonna press the Cricut button and it's gonna cut out January 29th 2020 So while that finished cutting out, I'm going to come over here because I got to weed the middle of the snowflake out. Um, I got to cut a sweet 16 and weed it. I'm going to place my foam over here so you guys can see. Got to weed out her name and um, the date place it and I'll be right back I'll be right back so give me a second okay guys I'm back now I'm doing placement the customer who I'm doing the shirts for wanted um, the names and the designs on the back of the shirt so I have already um, lined up my shirt I found the center what I'm going to do now is place the name. I'm going four, hand, four fingers down from the, first of all, I'm going to fold this on to get me a center, to get me a middle line, a center line. That's what you do. You don't have to fold the vinyl, but if you can see, I don't know if it's clear. But right here is the middle. So I line that line up with the line in the middle of my shirt, if you can see it. Four fingers down. That's about right. Four fingers down. That's my center. Actually, I got to move it up some, up just a bit, right there should be good. Because that's how my other ones was, so that should be good. Now remember, I, um, I made my got my alignment together so now that's that I'm just gonna do the snowflake line the snowflake up with the other side to make sure I center it and then I'm just gonna center the snowflake with the line on the shirt everything you guys I have measured like before I did the video with the other shirt this was down here I remember because I remember that placement so that was like three three fingers spacing apart three fingers so then my other piece see I'm doing this my other piece was the sweet 16 I don't want to be in the camera today is not a good day for me um, I look horrible so that's why I'm trying to do this without being in the camera so I'm lining up my S and my 6 center. That should be somewhere around about the E. I've been, the other shirts I, I was doing, so I kind of like got it down to a T. And I believe this from here to there 
was three also. I try to space everything three fingers. Actually, it was four. Sorry, so this gotta move down a little bit more, a little bit more, just a tad bit more. That should be it. Actually, I need this point. I gotta go up. A tad bit more. A tad bit more. Gotta move it. I'm actually trying to get my finger. That's fine now. That's fine. That's fine. So I move my shirt up on my desk. Then I get my last piece, which is this piece. January 29th, 2020. So I fold it on. Try to make it even. And this should be where the nine at. Like I said, I've been doing this earlier so everything I know where it should be what makes the middle for me and it is the nine see I need it to be straight not crooked it looks straight to me and I think this was around about two fingers that looks around about right um, I said that was right. This was like four from the top. From the Y, from the Y to the, from the Y here to this three. So that's right. How I do it to transport it from here to there I have a little trick I take little pieces of tape because I don't have I don't have the right tape that I'm supposed to have I'm supposed to have heat and tape but because I don't I don't let it stay for long. I don't let it stay for long. I use regular tape. And I just tape it somewhere on a thing so it don't move while I'm moving this over there. And so it don't mess up. That's what I do. And then I'm gonna take it to my heat presser and I'm gonna press it. Now, put the last piece of tape on. Whenever I put this tape up here, I always get a, have a problem with taking it off. Hopefully this time I won't. So everything is centered. We know it's centered because of the lines that we we crease everything is centered everything looks straight so what i do is i fold it fold it fold it and i just transport it over and once i get over here Once I get over here, I now open it, open it, open it, and it, it 
didn't lose like it didn't move I make sure it's straight one more time like even put all that down make sure it's even it looks straight and even to me and before it gets too hot I remove the tape but that's how I do it so because I have done shirts before that I moved them and when I moved them and I pressed the shirts that it was crooked it was uneven so I just didn't want to have to go through that so I tried to figure out a way until I get my heat heat and tape to figure out how to get it open from one place to the next Give me one second. Yeah, so now what we're going to do, I don't like how this snowflake looks for some reason. I feel it looks crooked, but I better leave it alone because... I know I can see. So now I'm gonna press it, guys. As soon as I I'm gonna press it and that's gonna be that sweet sixteen. Everything looks fine. So I put this. That's my Teflon sheet. My machine is on, I don't know if you can see my machine. My machine is on, my machine is on 315. So I lock it down, I let it press. And then when it hits one, open. I remove the tough line. I remove the transfer tape. piece of vinyl and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give it another press and just the Teflon over it the shirt that I finished I completed and done it's done thanks for watching and don't forget to press the button down at the bottom and subscribe I will be doing more videos so be a subscriber so and press the notification button thanks again